You're going to love this. Just love it.
All right, what is up, guys? Um, we are here with another stream, another ZBrush live stream. We got the new angle now. Actually, it's not really a new angle, but it's, I guess it's a new angle for these, uh, for these streams. So let me just finesse this volume real quick. And uh, let's see here. Cool. Let me, uh, today we got a cool one. We're doing the infamous Cosmic Brownies from Little Debbie. So pretty simple shapes, but we'll get into like the bite marks. I know people like to see how those things are constructed. So we'll, we'll get into that. And uh, I think we can just kind of get going. So let's go to the tablet and see what we got. We got some references up here. Always important. Um, by the way, let me know. Volume good? Okay, cool. Got it, got it. Uh, and if you hear me talking to myself, there are people on Discord that uh, I'll be conversing with, so I'm not crazy. Maybe I am crazy a little bit, but we'll, we'll see. Um, yeah, I think we're good. Let's kind of get to it. Waste no time. Okay, you know what? Okay, there we go. Yeah, I just beat myself for the intro. All right, here we go. Actually, I probably should be myself. I'm going to be like explaining stuff. Let's see. All right. So. I'm going to go in here and create a cube. I'll just shrink this down. Just like that. Right. Oh, let me, uh... And, uh, once we got this little cube here, we'll be good to, uh... Let's see how we want to do this. Pretty much what we're looking at here is we're going to... Yeah, we'll go to the textures right there, so... We're actually going to kind of separate two parts here, start with one mesh and then end up slicing this part off. And uh, from the slice, you'll have different poly groups kind of assigned to these areas. And we're going to uh, kind of just organically sculpt the stuff that we need. And that's really all it is. So we have this here and because we're doing food, we want this stuff to be um, organic, which essentially in ZBrush terms means DynaMesh. So we're gonna go ahead here and I don't think we have to group by normals with this specific shape, but we're going to go geometry, dynamish, boom. Already looking a little, a little bit more organic because we have all these uh, evenly dis distributed uh, polygons. And uh, I'm probably just going to create one detailed model of like the one with the bite taken out of it. So without further ado, Let's go ahead and uh, do one of the features that are new in ZBrush 2024, which is if you hold down Control Shift, tap on the uh, the knife rect, you can actually hold down the split to parts here. Hold them down, uh, spacebar, and just something like that. And now you can see these are separated with different poly groups. Just like that. And for right now, we're just gonna keep these how they are, maybe remesh, um, just so we can see what's going on here. Um, and if you want to remask these without destroying the poly groups, what you can do is just mask a little bit of it and then hit uh, grow all. And it'll grow the selection so you can move these back, which is very important. What's up, Mikhail? Mako Sculpt, what's good? Uh, Meron, what's up? Key sign phenomenon. Exactly. Yeah, we're gonna get really hungry here. That's what we're going for. Um, and before we get to the bites and stuff, we're just gonna look at the integrity of both of these meshes. You can see that a lot going on here. Um, but before we do that, we're going to, I guess, start slicing the stuff and it's good that we actually have these things separated dynameshed but both uh on top of the in the same sub tool because what we can do is holding down shift we can rotate this a little bit 
and then we can do a let's do uh, what do you call it control shift tap here let's get the we want the knife circle and uh, actually we don't need to split the parts we just want to delete this so we're gonna get a nice little bite like this Just like that. So now we have a nice uh, kind of organic looking bite here. And of course, when we want to bite, add the bite marks and stuff. But for now, we should be good. Again, we're still separated. You got to be careful with the Dynamesh because if you get them too close and you re-Dynamesh, they're going to fuse together. Uh, and we don't want that. That should be good. And I think what we can do before anything else is start adding some... Let's increase the resolution from 128 to 360 here. Just like that. So now we have a much more densely uh, populated model here. And that's going to be better for making sure the stuff doesn't fuse together because we're not ready for that yet. Um, and then real quickly, uh, I'm going to start by isolating this mesh. Grow all. You can also find that in the masking tab. That's just a custom uh, menu that I've used. So that should be fine. Pretty good so far. Uh, now going to open up the, uh, actually, you know, this would be a good time to separate these meshes. So we're gonna go to uh, subtool split unmasked. So now we have these two split which is exactly what we want. Uh, now it doesn't really matter um, how these are all laid out. We can actually probably group all of these other um, poly groups here. So now we just have one uh, for the rest of this portion and one here. And the same thing I think we can do for this. I don't think we really need to worry about uh, there being too many poly groups. It's a very simple mesh. So now we got uh, two poly groups per subtool here. That's what we want. And uh, before I do anything else, I'm actually going to save as real quickly. Let's go ahead here. Let's go oh two two eight two four. See brush live brownies. Saving it as a tool. Looks good to me. And uh, before I do anything else, I'm probably going to inflate these just a little bit. So they got some girth, uh, both of these actually. And read on just gives it a little bit more weight. And uh, with these, now I'm probably going to uh, hit my, one of my favorite tools, the surface noise. Go over here, go to the noise plug, max on noises, hit okay. And just finesse these values just a little bit. Take the strength down. Make sure I get some evenly distributed dents here. Looks good. Ask by noise. Speaking on a mesh. Need to worry too much about these, just clean it up a little bit. A little bit of uh, smoothing. What's up, Sparky? 
Deep version of amazing software. It's software engineers, man. Yo, I, I'm saying. So true. Swag bag, what's up? Eva, what's good? Good morning. Ooh, I might actually hop into uh, CZ. Um, here we go. There you go. What's up, Sean? Johnny Mignon, what is good? We're on ZBrush right now. Chilling, chilling. We're actually yeah, live right now on ZBrush. Yeah. All right, cool. So, and if I'm talking too much, just mute me. But yeah. Uh, so we got two of these kind of uh, things bumped out here. Uh, now we're going to combine two noises. We're going to go from the uh, kind of this bigger dense to a smaller factor noise. So we're going to go surface again. Let's delete what we had. Start fresh with a new noise. Take the strength all the way down. Maybe take the focal shift down so you can see what's going on more. And then take the Y. A little bit down. Like that. And maybe just boost the mask a little bit. Something like that. Wow. Oh yeah. I gotta admit the music is fire today. Sean, what you up to? Yo, I forgot it was this morning too, actually. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, that's a thing. I'm actually gonna mess this top half off real quick. I group it. Once we kind of feather that out, we can, you know, reduce the contrast and make it a little bit more beveled. And then once this is in a good spot, just bubble this up. True. Perp just remind, reminded me to save the file. We're going to do that. We're in a good spot. Just kind of clearing up any weird harsh edges here. Again, we're in Dynamesh mode, so that's, that's when we can clear all this stuff out. And it's food, so like it doesn't have to be too crazy uh, perfect. In fact, it's the opposite. Now we need the bite marks, which is a huge distinction. Um, and the stuff that really gives this life. So I think all we need to do is just kind of uh, separate this out maybe. Maybe mask the edges of the, uh, the bite, just. Looks like four.
Okay. Now we're going to uh, create these little, uh, what do you call it? I guess the chocolate pieces. And because we have these separated into a poly group, uh, let's just subtool, duplicate, just select this poly group here. We're actually going to test them. I've been using this feature a little bit more just to get some easy mesh that covers the same grounds. Fire this up. Oops, let's go delete hidden. There we go. So you can see, this is what we're getting. That's all we need. Testimate. Now we're going to go BZM for Z modeler. We go insert nano mesh, poly group all. And you can see kind of what's going on here. And that's fine. Uh, now we're going to finesse these even further. Nano mesh, uh, random distribution. We don't need that many. Let's make them a little bigger. Something like that. And then maybe randomly uh, rotate these on every axis. that maybe take off the placement now we can edit each of these I like to go on split screen three let me uh, move this so you guys can see it a little bit you can kind of see what's happening this piece right here is being uh, displayed by these guys over here And we're just going to subdivide a little bit. Something like that. And now we can randomize these all by the uh, scale, just so they're not all exactly the same. Maybe take the, uh, the Z and finesse that a little bit. Which one of these are, there we go. Let's randomize that with how much they're kind of embedded into this thing. Uh, and actually more of them are sticking out, so we can actually probably re... Yeah, that's probably what they look like a little bit more. Bigger. Shana Mignon, what's on the agenda? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Client work after this, respond to some emails. Um, got dinner plans. What's up, dog? We're actually live on ZBrush right now. Uh, no, they can't interview. Bet. Wait, what you mean? 
No. Oh, Bobby. Now this is actually uh, Cosmic Brownies. Yeah. One. No, they can hear me. They just can't hear you guys. Yeah, so if I'm over explaining, that's why. What's up, Brian Art? Yeah, we're in the Discord, by the way. Um, feel free to hit the uh, yeah Discord.gg slash P4D. That's where we're all kind of kicking it. Um, yeah, so far we're making good rounds on this. Anyone who's in my copy, that's what I'm saying. Left-handed gang. Yep. I'm all right. We're going to combine these a little, little bit more here. If you want to uh, combine multiple meshes, actually, once we're good with this placement, which I think we are, we can easily just uh, nano mesh. Tori one to mesh, and you can see kind of what's going on here. Delete hidden, and maybe auto groups. I don't think so. I think that can be left for texture. And if you got some weird ones hanging off, you can totally just use the BMT move topological and just move these independently. Because they are in the same sub tool. So just make sure they're not running into each other, but still have some irregularities to them. I'll maybe make some popping out a little bit more. And if you want to go really brazy, we're going to go and uh, combine these two meshes just for a sec. Uh, before I do this, let me save. Yeah. No, it's just saying like crazy. We're gonna combine these two. We're gonna go here and here, these two. So we're gonna merge down.
these are now one sub tool um, and we don't really care too much about this yet except for the fact that we want to go to z plugin intersection mask or create intersection mask um, and now we can actually uh, split hidden and when we do you see that it's masked in those areas and that's important because let's go ahead and mask You can create little indents for where these things are. Um, but before we do that, I think we can actually... So it looks a little bit more irregular. If you bumped them out too much, you can always go back and What's up? Uh, the N N Peter. Oh, sorry, it's a hard one. What's going on, man? I think we should be pretty good, actually, for this main piece. Yeah, we got a uh, pretty decently looking uh, cosmic brownie. We got the bite marks here. And uh, I will be texturing this later on in Discord, so feel free to hop in there. This is just the ZBrush portion. And then sometimes I set the scene a little bit, sometimes I don't. Um, and sometimes I'll just go in with the H polish and just really finalize the stuff just so it's not too uniform. Increase that kind of realistic looking uh, edge, edge wear from like chocolate and, and all these other things, so. Sometimes this stuff even bubbles up after the bite's taken because of the way the teeth kind of mold around. So what you can do is kind of just mask by feature.
If you ever just don't like the way an edge is coming out like this, you can always just uh, hold down Shift, Sculptors Pro, and just delete a lot of this stuff here. Uh, and we're going to want to add in a lot of this information back here as well. Pretty good um and the rest i think i'll just kind of have uh, maybe i'll clone these out in cinema 4d and uh, kind of have them exploding out from there um but not bad i mean that's pretty much a usual workload in zbrush and you know maybe i'd uh, create a few instances of these here and uh, kind of set the scene a little more that's pretty much it and you can do a little previous by just shift s seeing how some of this stuff would look in like a cool arrangement Uh, so sometimes I even do a little previs like this in this little 2.5D mode. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, if you guys want to see the addition to this process, feel free to pull up on uh, discord.gg slash p4d and we'll continue this later on. And then, of course, you'll see all this stuff finalized and rendered on my Instagram, most likely in the form of a reel. So, uh, yeah, hope you guys got something out of this and then we'll see you in the next video.